with regards to the Maputo targets, I have a feeling that the, there is not much progress which the governments have made because this was made in 2003 and this is 2023. That is 20 years. Honestly, even a child who was born when the heads of states and the governments were signing this protocol 20 years ago, that child has finished the university more or less and is starting life. So I believe that there is a lot that can be done. Majority of the member states in the East and Central Africa are lagging behind. In the workshop, in the dialogue of the two days ago, Burundi indicated that they have reached a, a target of over 10, that's the 12% of their budget being allocated to uh, agriculture. This is to be proven and Ethiopia is also making good progress. But the question really is, for how long will it take our governments and us to really make sure that we increase the budget on agriculture? Without agriculture, there is no food. Without food, there is no life. So I believe that this is an area where a lot needs to be done. And to give us some push, ASAREKA, which is an intergovernmental organization, has initiated discussions with individual ministers who are responsible for agricultural research in our 15 member states to seek to address this issue. The major aim is how can we make sure that the governments are properly lobbied. The parliamentary groups really discuss this. In every uh, meeting, the parliamentary group on agriculture, whether in Kenya, for example, the Senate uh, group on agriculture, this, I feel, should be discussed even at the parliamentary uh, committee level where they need to look at their individual country performance and check over the years what is the trend like and even to do a benchmarking and a check of those countries that have increased their contribution or their budgetary allocation uh, of the Maputo target. How have they performed in terms of their productivity? How have their people, the, the farmers, performed in terms of increasing their accessibility to markets? This benchmarking can be very important to be like an impetus, to be like a motivator to the government to increase this, uh, this commitment. As a record, we have also signed an MOU with the African Union Commission to really focus on uh, what was passed during the, the, not only the, the, the Maputo, but also the Malabo. Because in the Malabo, there was a, a, a recommitment by the government that they would follow up on the Maputo uh, declaration. But not much. If you look at even the performance, the BNL review, every two years, you will clearly see how our countries are lagging behind, even in meeting these uh, Malabo targets. Not only the Maputo target now, but even the Malabo target that came almost 10 years later. So I still believe that a lot can be done, a lot of lobbying should be done. The goodness is that as a record, we have our 15 ministers in charge of agriculture who form what we call the Asareka Council of Patron Ministers. And they meet every year in what we call the Asareka Agriculture Ministerial Conference. We are planning as a Sareka Secretariat and I as the Secretary that serves under that Ministerial Conference that we want to present this to the Ministers so that we can come up with the solutions. We will be mobilizing ideas from the Member States and then present this during the Ministers' Conference and we believe that with this, this can be changed. What is my view in terms of uh, by 2050? Even if we look at the agenda 2063, I know most of us may not be there by that time, but our children should be able to have exceeded this target and even set higher targets than this because without agriculture, there is no life even for them. So my prayer and my belief is that more efforts should be made. But by 2050, for example, I'm looking at a minimum of an average of 8%, a minimum average of 8%. And for us to get a minimum average of 8%, it means that for those countries who can only manage 6%, 
there must be those countries that have got 10% so that we have our 8% average. For those who can have 7%, there are those that should have even 17%, 11%, so that we can have still a minimum of 8%. So let's encourage those countries that are capable, move with the speed. I know there is a difference in the GDPs of individual countries, but this is for the good, not only of the country, but also for the, our region and also for the continent. So let us focus on these targets. Let us put in more effort. Scientists out there, let's put in more effort. Let us showcase the evidence that science can really help feed our people. And that will be a motivator for the governments to even put in more budget to support agricultural research and also to promote the technologies that have already been uh, generated and scaled out so that there can be enough, uh, enough money and also the GDP can increase. When the GDP from agriculture increases, the government has got no option but to add a budget to support more of this research. So that is my take, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe that with that we are able to move forward.